Hey guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 18th of June. It's really nice to be with you today. I went on a little bit of a shopping spree. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. I've used that money and I've gone shopping. So I've bought the book of Shadows Tarot with, which looks very kind of ethereal and mystical. And I like this as above so below. I really like that on there. Then we've got the Aquarian Tarot, which must be quite established because when they usually when they're in tins, like the Morgan Greer comes in tins, then obviously they're in their fourth or fifth or whatever printing and they come in these cat tins and I like them because they're easy to handle. And then we've got the Sorcerer's Tarot. So you're going to see me use all of these over the next couple of days. But today I want to use the Sorceress Tarot. I feel drawn to that. Oh, look, she's beautiful. So I'm going to have a look at what these cards have to say. It's a shame. I wrote to Lo Scarabeo, the publishers of this deck, to um, try and get my own deck published. I've been talking about this forever. And it never... I, I wrote to them and they never got back to me. Which was a shame. I still, I haven't found an artist. It's really more difficult. It just doesn't feel like the time is right or something. I don't know. I need to look at making my own deck. I'm really, really ready. Anyway, enough about me. So here are the cards. I just want to show you them. Look how beautiful these are. Look at that magician. I'd go out with him. Wow. She's fun. She looks fun. This is beautiful. I'm glad I bought this. These characters are amazing. Wow. What cool cards. Oh, I'm so glad when that happens because sometimes you buy cards and it's like, oh, I, oh, look. And it's like, he looks like um, one of that white wizard from the Lord of the Rings, Saruman. Um, it, it's so nice when you buy cards and you see the cover and everything. And this one didn't have a lot on it. Look, it just had this on it and that. So you couldn't really see all the cards. But I love it when you get a nice surprise like that rather than, oh, I've had some other deck. Like the Atlantic Tarot or the, the, the Tarot of Atlantis. I... Um, that looked good, and then I opened it, it was like, ugh, no, it was horrible, it was really gruesome and brutal, so you never know, so I'm happy with this, let's pull three cards and see what's coming up today, wow, what's this, the four of coins, okay, then we have the two of swords, and the nine of cups so i just want to make sure that pentacles so we have one swords cups and coins must be coins then yeah okay great okay so the four of coins is uh usually a miser uh, is someone who's hanging on to their money is someone who is building a fortress in some decks it's it's literally a fortress, a castle, um, and this person is hanging on to everything they've got. Here we've got a beautiful young girl, and she's holding a skull under her, her under her arm, which is really kind of jarring because it's so inappropriate. So she's holding on to. She's lost some. This is really sad. She's lost someone. She's holding on to the person she's lost, and she's got these wise people around her advising her that you know your parent for instance has gone and you've got to accept that and um let her go so that you can get on with your own life it's a really wonderful way to interpret this card so this is about letting go and it's about letting yourself go emotionally today so don't hang on to your emotional baggage don't hold on to, I mean, the thing is, you know, when someone dies or when, when you have a really awful emotional or physical experience with someone, that's always there, but you can let go of it and you can let go of it and it'll come back and you can let go of it again and again and again. And then after a while, it'll stay gone. 
So there's this card is saying that you have the choice to really free yourself emotionally. The owls as well, you know, once they understand what the situation is, they can fly. The young girl, she can't get very far in a nighty, and an owl can get as far as it wants. So if she aligns herself with the wisdom of these wiser, older people who are in her life saying, you know, we will take care of you and let this go, she'll be able to reach much further. So first card of the day is saying, let go. Let go emotionally and let go of what you think you know and let go financially as well. Just be open and teachable and see what um, the universe wants to provide for you. The next card is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is appeared recently as well. And um, usually it's a woman who's blindfolded and who's got her shoulders, who's got swords um, folded across her chest, and um, she's, bl she's blindfolded and she doesn't see what's going on here. We've got a woman who is in the snow, and she's not dressed for the snow. She's got this falcon there, and that's almost like a messenger. So it's almost like in the way they've interpreted this way is that she's found herself somewhere where she doesn't belong in terms of the temperature. And she's using her thinking, her intellect to connect with other people to his relationships to get her out of this sit sticky situation. This is the sorcerer's tarot. So she needs to get her bird there up to you know the white tower so that the magician can snap his fingers and come there and pick her up and then she's gonna get her staff back and then she can have her own power back so it's about letting go emotionally and allowing yourself to ask for help and to connect with others and to allow other people to help you and to heal you and let others in because that's again what's really going to free you and liberate you another bird Finally, we've got the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is really uh, wish fulfillment, hopes and dreams coming true, um, being generous to other people. In this deck, we've got two women who are naked, so they're really being honest and authentic. She's doing the other girl's hair, so it's about nurturing one another and taking care of each other. And she's got this wand here, so she's a sorcerer. She's a sorcerer, so is she. And it's a combination of feeling, so nurturing someone else and taking care of them, and learning the mind. So their wishes, in in the sense that this is the sorcerer's tower, is to become a mighty, powerful sorcerer, and to. Um, have that, they realize that it's not just study and learning that's going to get you to where you want to go. What's also going to get you to where you want to go is having a, a sense of emotional security and having people who love you in your life and taking care of them when they need it and being taken care of when you need it, asking for that help. And that then enables you to study and learn and make yourself more powerful. So the whole day is about let go of your isolation, connect with other people and ask for help. And that help will be provided and you will be nurtured. It's really funny because um, the other day, um, I was reading the YouTube comments and can, one of the comments was from a guy and he said, um, can you, can you stop saying like, um, you, can you use it, stop using like gay examples like he goes and gets himself a, a guy who's who's got more money or something and he gets him to look after him I think I've used that example once he's like straight guys watch this as well you know so okay thank you for that comment because I do assume <laughs> I do assume that everyone's either female or gay who watches this so um I would yeah, and this picture, I guess, there you go for the straight guys. Um, stereotypically, this is something that they kind of like, I suppose. <laughs> for the rest of us, it's just a normal picture of two women being caring and nurturing towards each other. Um, 
being naked in the tower always just means being really authentic and real and really getting, you know, to the, um, not being, not being, um, affect you know not adopting any affectations or putting on a facade or some sort of act it's it's about getting real and the nine of nine of cups is about your wishes coming true so by opening up emotionally today your wishes can come true because you connect and it's through that help that you really meet someone who's like a soulmate because you wouldn't let just anyone stick flowers in your hair, you know, you'd want to, you trust that person first. Four and two is six and nine is 15. One and five is six again. And six is about a temporary opportunity and um, a door of opportunity opening up in your life really unexpectedly and suddenly, and it's going to close again. So you, you have the opportunity today to dump a whole lot of emotional baggage to um, make space for new ideas to come in and to change your circumstances by using your intellect. That means you can walk out of a job or you can um, send a letter that has um, significant circumstances. Um, the, all of, the personal planet Mercury and Venus, they're both in Cancer at the moment. So it's very much about being nurturing and caring. So don't worry too much about what you're saying and if you're going to harm your relationships. Um, it's okay to have emotion in your relationships at the moment. You know, if you're a little bit over the top or you act emotionally, it's this time of year, you'll be forgiven for it. You know, it's just like, okay, I, I got a bit much, for instance. So, um, yeah, it's it's a temporary opportunity to let go of the emotional stuff, to make connections and to really have your hopes and dreams come true in terms of finding someone who's like a kindred spirit or a soulmate who provides you with emotional nurture and care and gives you that emotional foundation and structure and support so that you can step into your own power. So that's what I get for you today. Really great start to the week. If you would like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please re remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. In the private readings, I use tarot, astrology, and numerology. The way I combine the tarot and the numbers a moment ago, I do that in the private readings as well. The astrology chart gives me a blueprint of your soul. It shows me what your life purpose is what your vocational aptitudes are, where you've been in past lifetimes, what your strengths and weaknesses are, what's destined for you in love and romance and relationships and health, what's coming up in future in each one of those areas. And if you have any questions, I can also answer those. Um, I've made some price reductions on the website. So have a look at those. There are some changes there. Um, especially, I've made changes to the urgent um, appointments. Have a fantastic day. That that those changes you can see by just going to gregoryscott.com and clicking on the readings tab. You'll see the difference. Um, I hope you have an amazing start to the week, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.